The 2019 Central Baseball team has exceeded almost everyone's expectations. After a 12-game winning streak to start the season, they are now 14-2 and have a run differential of 178-23 to through 16 games. A big part of the team's success can be attributed to the nine seniors who have been a part of the program all four years. As freshmen, the class of 2019 won the ninth grade conference championship, and their commitment to improving has led to a conference title at the varsity level as well. We got the chance to ask Central's head coach, Adam Hunkins, what he thinks of this remarkable class of players. We have nine seniors on this team. That's for sure the most seniors I've ever had um, on one single varsity roster. Um, and the nine seniors that I have are ultimately very unique to this program as well. Um, Skill-wise, we've got some of the better skill-wise components that we've ever had. We've got two guys playing shortstop or second base up the middle of our defense that are two of the best I've ever had. We have a very competent catcher, um, and we have the best center fielder that I've ever had in my 13 years here. Uh, and so when you've got strong defense up the middle with those four guys that I just mentioned, it makes a season go a lot smoother. It makes defense and defensive innings a whole lot shorter. Um, and it just gives the whole overall feel of this team a much more competitive edge, if you will, by being so good defensively up the middle. In previous years, the Minutemen from St. Paul were never seen as a threat to bigger suburban powerhouses such as Hill Murray, Monticello, and others. With a talent-loaded team, Central is trying to rewrite the label put upon inner-city schools and prove that the program can produce state-competing teams. Central within the city conference is looked pretty highly upon. Other teams in the conference know that we're competitive. Um, if it's not Central, it's Highland or Johnson, generally speaking, who's going to win our conference. Um, I've said this for a long time, that even in the years that Central doesn't win the city conference, the team that does has to come through here and has to beat us, and that's usually true, uh, in that if we don't win the conference, we usually end up second in the conference. Um, and we've put together a pretty good uh, defense or, you know, made the other teams work pretty hard. Now, outside of our conference, I think that we get slighted a little bit. Um, we I've put in a ton of time attempting to build this program from a city conference program that's not as respected um, to a city conference program that's getting a little bit more respect from suburb schools when we hit those section C meetings, when we go and play non-conference games. Um, early in my career here, we'd go 0-7, 1-6, 1-7, and 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 stuff like that in our non-conference schedule over the last three, four, five years. Um, we've run a lot closer to a 500 non-conference record. Right now, this year, we have a winning non-conference record. Um, and so the, the kind of the image, if you will, of Central Baseball from the outside looking in uh, within the city conference were respected and looked upon pretty highly. Outside of the city conference, I don't think that we get the credit that we deserve and our players and athletes don't get the acknowledgement and recognition that they deserve. The team that we have this year certainly has, hopefully it'll be kind of a holistic change, a long-term change, but certainly in the short term, I'm receiving phone calls and emails from coaches around the metro area, suburb areas, people that I know off the field contacting me about the way that we're performing on the field. Um, that's never happened to me before. I've never had suburb coaches contact me and say, man, it looks like you guys are playing good baseball. Are you guys as good as the record shows? How legit are you? Um, and I'm fielding those phone calls once, twice a week at this point. Um, and my answer is, is with this group is that we're very legit and we've got more tools in our toolbox, if you will, for the coaching staff to try to go out and win games and manipulate things to compete than we ever had. To look further into this team's potential, we decided to head to a practice and see what it was all about.
After practice, we got a chance to interview two of the team's captains and seniors, Kyle Wichlinski and Liam King. Can you give us a brief history of your time on the Central Baseball team? Uh, yeah, so started as a freshman with uh, Coach Pittman and uh, the boys. It was a pretty fun year. Finished the year 13 and 3, so we were pretty, pretty good. Felt pretty good about our future in Central Baseball. So, and then sophomore year, made varsity with Carl Voigt and Liam King and Luke McElroy, and that was a that was an all right year. And then junior year, uh, also all right, not too not too bad, 500. And then uh, this this year, senior year, big year for us. So, really looking forward to it. Central Baseball started as a freshman year. We were on the freshman squad, the C squad, uh, and then sophomore year we played uh, vars me, Kyle, Carl and Luke all played varsity baseball. Junior year we played varsity ball again, uh, and then senior year we're on varsity still. So. Have you played with any teammates on this team before? I've played with Eric, Henry, Joe, Adrian, uh, Liam. Yeah, I think that's about it. <laughs> I've known everybody for quite a while now. I've known Kyle Wichlinski ever since elementary school days, and I've known Carl Voigt been playing with a lot of sports with Luke McElroy and just we all, all coming together after middle school all, all like pretty much knowing each other right from the start of the even before like the start of freshman baseball it was just like a connection we all had and it was really good yeah we feel like we're a pretty tight group which definitely helps us win some games so all right um, when did you start to realize that this senior class could do something special freshman year we were we were pretty cold so pretty much obliterated most of the teams we played and we thought from the beginning that we'd senior year would be a big year for us so felt pretty good from the beginning. Right at freshman year we saw how good we were against other, all these teams and realizing that us beating these teams right now and us beating these teams are going to be the, beating these teams senior year it's going to be a breeze. So how is this season going so far? Uh, the season for the team has gone very, very well. We've outscored opponents like 90 to 5 or something like that. So I feel like it's going really good. I feel like it can get even better by more all the games we've been winning and just keeping our focus together and start winning more games. So I have very high expectations for this group. I feel like we can go all the way and go to state and win the champ. 2019 has been a year of great success for the Central Baseball program. Not only did the team win conference by a large margin, they proved that a city conference team can compete with anyone with the right amount of hard work, talent, and sheer love for the game of baseball. The connection between the players on the team is unparalleled, and the future looks bright for the Minutemen.